So fewer consumers are shopping in stores. Fewer investors are shopping for retail stocks today. Sears holding shares down sharply after the retailer acknowledging for the first time in its annual 10K filing the broader market concerns that the department store can continue operating. Sears says, quote, our historical operating results indicate substantial doubt exists related to the company's ability to continue as a going concern. Sears then continues to undergo a number of financial gymnastics with liquidity support from CEO and majority holder Eddie Lampert and his hedge fund ESL. Still, the retailer says, quote, we cannot predict with certainty the outcome of our actions to generate liquidity, including the availability of additional debt financing or whether such actions would generate the expected liquidity as currently Land. So that's to be continued. J. Crew's latest 10K filing shows its total comparable sales are down 11% in the first seven weeks of the year. J. Crew comp sales dropped 7% last year, though it did see losses narrow and even posted a small profit in the holiday quarter versus a loss in the same period the year before. Now, the XRT retail ETF under pressure, as are shares of Nike after its disappointing futures orders and disappointing revenue. That's pulling down shares of competitor Under Armour as well. Plus, we've got reports from Bloomberg suggesting shoe store Payless may file for bankruptcy next week. And women's apparel retailer BB is looking to shutter all of its stores and move online as it looks to stem losses. So we've got a lot of bleeding red in the retail sector today. There is so much going on here. I hope I'm not out of a retail job soon. Back to you guys. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Courtney, it's interesting. That whole Sears move, people are trying to kind of set it up and saying, well, this is just an acknowledgement of what we knew. But clearly, right. you know, the auditors or somebody inside uh, Sears said, look, we actually have to place this on the record because they have been kept afloat, in a sense, by a lot of these financial maneuvers. One hundred percent. It's so complicated if you look at what Eddie Lampert and his, and his hedge fund ESL has done to try to support Sears, loaning it money. And, and Lampert is also the biggest debt holder as well as the biggest equity holder. I mean, it has been said that in a way it looks like he's rearranging or selling deck chairs on the Titanic. We know that he's always valued the hard assets, whether that's the real estate, the brands themselves, which he's been selling off. They spun off that Seritage, that REIT. I mean, they're doing everything they can, I think, to extract value. Um, but again, the market has really doubted whether those retail operations will continue. But until now, Sears hasn't acknowledged that out loud in this way. <laughs> and Court, there's one little angle of this I, I think is kind of interesting. I wonder if you've seen it yet. So there's all these liquidation sales going on at JCPenney and Macy's for those locations that are being closed. Mm -hmm. And is that putting pressure on even the stalwarts of the sector now? You know, companies like TJX, where suddenly the prices look a little bit less competitive, if only for just this period of time. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a very good observation for certain. I mean, you'll get some consumers that will be frustrated when they go to the liquidation sales hoping to get a deal if they can't find the size and style they want because, of course, of course, as we know, when it gets to that point, the inventory pickings are a little bit slimmer. But yes, very temporarily, it could make the prices look much more competitive if you are around one of those stores that's closing and liquidi liquidating that merchandise, then those prices would be considerably lower than those off-price chains like a TJ Maxx, like a Ross Stores or a Marshalls. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.